it's been a process to build it. We put the first peg in the ground for Earthworks in 2018. The reason we went down this track was we'd outgrown our dairy and the dairy was old and needed upgrading. We had a shade issue in the summertime, the cows are really struggling. We sat down with Laley and, and decided we wanted to go ro robotic dairy in a compost farm. My name's Mark D, this is my wife Mandy. Uh, we run Clive Vale Holsteins together with my two brothers, Colin and Adam. Also my brother-in-law Gav and another employee Howard. And my dad Adrian is very involved in, and this whole setup was his dream build. So we're in Northern Victoria. We're about an hour west of Echuca and we've got 2,700 acres here. We've got 500 cows here in a compost robotic barn. On the farm, we're currently running at about 1,250 females on the farm, ranging from the oldest girls right down to new baby heifers. We've got eight A5 astronaut robotic milkers and five Cosmix feeders as well. The whole barn is designed into four herds and there's two robots servicing each herd. There's two lunar brushes in each section and each section has uh, Laylee Cosmix as well. Our fifth Cosmix we've put in because uh, we've got a specific area for when we're showing cows. So we wanted to be able to have those cows have access to everything that they'd have access to when they're in the pack, they'll have access to that behind the robots as well. So when they're tied up, getting prepared for shows and stuff like that, we wanted them to be able to get the full use of the Cosmics as well. So that's where the fifth one comes in. And we actually have a sixth one as well that's not uh, set up yet, that's gonna be installed in our Springer Barn. So we'll be able to use that to feed our lead feed to our Springers and keep track of the transition feeding, feeding and stuff for the fresh cows. The Laley Juno, he just does a run about every hour roughly, pushing the feed in and it's just one less job you have to do and you know it's getting done. We're really happy with the way the cows have adjusted to it. No grazing, it's a complete change for us and them. But just to get them out of the heat in the summer and, and out of the mud in the winter, We've seen some massive production gains. It's really ticking a lot of boxes now. The results that we're getting production-wise, just because the cows are happy, they did take it really quick. And we set some production benchmarks for around 31 litres average in the first 12 months. And we hit 39 after six months. And today we're currently doing 35. Support's been really good. And that was probably one of the big ticks for us when deciding who to go with was the fact that the Laley Service Centre is so close. They installed the robots and their support throughout has been really, really good. One of the biggest things that we found is the amount of data that we have. In our old setup, the data that we were getting was just the basic every month, every second month when we were herd testing. Whereas what we've got now is a day to day, hour to hour, rundown on what each cow is actually doing. In our old system with, with cow health, a lot of the times, like as dairy farmers, we know our animals. So if you see a cow, you can, you can generally see that she's not well, but you're not always seeing that cow every day, every milking. When they come through the robots, the temperature of their milk is collected a conductivity light is ran over the milk that's coming out of each quarter. Their cell count is getting checked every third milking. All of that sort of comes to give us an overall picture on how well a cow's doing. If they have a significant drop in weight, that can be an early sign that a cow's really not feeling very well. So you can see uh, at a glance whether a cow's getting mastitis, in what quarter that might be how much milk they're giving in each quarter, how much time it takes to milk each quarter, through to all of their repro data, their activity, their feed. All of that data and information just gives us that whole big picture to really concentrate on the cow's health and well-being, so that they're living their best life in here. changed a lot for us as well. Before we moved in here for the last few years, 
we've been milking in a 22 swing over um, herringbone dairy and we were averaging around five hours of milking so roughly around 10 hours in the dairy a day so it didn't really leave a lot of time for any outside work let alone having any kind of lifestyle. We are definitely in the industry for the long haul. We've made a major investment and uh, it's also nice to know that our daughter Hannah is really keen on the cows, so that's the next generation coming through. I'm currently studying a Bachelor of Agribusiness at La Trobe University in Bendigo. I like working in the dairy here, so doing a course like that in the future, I would look to coming back, bring something different to the business, hopefully. I'm more enthusiastic to come here and work four hours here than I was in the old dairy. It is a huge investment, but we are a family-run operation. We were never intending on going anywhere, so we had to look to what is going to be the best way to keep us in the dairy and game. That's where the robots came in and the house system comes in. We want to be around for a long time, so we need to look after ourselves as much as the animals so that we can keep doing this job for as long as we want to.